Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. Yesterday I posted a video about Google's new site search, which was now a default feature and was rolling out as a default feature uh, in the stable version of Google Chrome. And as I mentioned in the video, until recently the site search was an experimental feature that was hidden behind a flag in uh, the stable version of Google Chrome. And now in version 103, which is the current stable version of the browser, Google had started to push out the feature by default using a controlled server-side update and rollout. And I will leave a link in the description to that video um, as it will give you a little bit of more information. Now, for whatever reason, um, you don't need the site search. Maybe you find it bloatware or uh, it's just not a necessary feature. Um, or you just don't need the extra clutter in the browser, there is still a way to disable uh, the new site search in the stable version of Google Chrome. Um, it isn't a setting or a toggle you need to turn on and off, but we can still use the same flag, which is still currently available in the stable version. I don't know how long uh, Google will keep the flag uh, in, the stable, in the stable version, but for now, um, the flag is still available. So if you want to disable the new site search, uh, we just head to the address bar, enter chrome colon forward slash forward slash flags. And in the search on the experimental flags page, we just type in side search. And that's enough to bring up the flag. And now we can see it's a default feature where previously we had to enable the flag for the side search to show up and appear. Now all we do is we change the default setting to disabled. And then we will have to relaunch uh, Google Chrome to apply that flag. And now you'll see if I head back and I do the same search for Wikipedia again, there is no site search icon showing up in the top right of my address bar in Omnibox. So that feature has been disabled. So that's how you disable the uh, site search currently in the stable version. And as mentioned, that's of course until Google decides if they do decide to remove that flag. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.